Welcome to Improvoicers. We, and by that I mean I, are the Improvoicers. Ordinary Joes to the untrained eye, but our voices bring forth an I know that guy. And in our line of work, improvisation comes in handy more than not. That's why we've trained so vigorously to master this art. And after all our hard work, I can confidently tell you that we're adequate at best. But it's not enough to just tell you. You came here to see us show you, right? And what better way to show off this adequacy than participating in one of mankind's oldest traditions, games. Yeah. Here's how the show works. We make asses of ourselves. Yes, good, 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 good. If you like it, laugh. This will give us uh, and convince our brains to give us the necessary amount of serotonin to sleep tonight. <laughs> because in the end, this is for you. Everything we do is to make you laugh. You happy, we happy. Now I must warn you, this show is not for the faint of heart. This is the dreaded PG-13 rating. That's right, that's right. So we might say the word ass, we might say the word hell and bitch, and maybe shit. So if you are faint of heart, please leave now, for these will be recurring words. I see all of you are strong. Very good. <laughs> we are allowed one F word per uh, PG-13, but I'm not going to waste it on the opening fucking monologue. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, enough touchy-feely crap. Let's get on with it, huh? Coming up first, a veteran, both of improvisation and living in general, and one of the loudest screamers I've ever gone deaf from. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Rager. Yo, yo. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dick is allowed as well. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh. I, I didn't, can't, I didn't, can't I didn't, pull one over on I dick. didn't blow it, did I? No, you did not. Oh. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> See what Next I did Next up to bat, a pink, squishy weirdo that wears a diaper and expels gas from every orifice. And also, he plays Majin Buu. <laughs> a quick-thinking genius with a big old p it's, it's Josh Martin, everyone. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Louder! Louder for Boo! Not Boo, louder, louder for Boo! Boo. Everyone's a comedian. And finally, every group has the weird one. He's done everything from a cute little robot to a big, fat, greasy pig. Like, like he played them on TV. He didn't, you know, do them like... And he draws! He draws, too! The, uh, uh, whose line has Colin Mockery, and we got Ricky Simons. Woo! He emerges. <laughs> Greetings, sir. Hello. I like your coat. <laughs> what a, what a, what an angel, right? America's angel. Well, these are our improvoicers, everyone. Without further ado, let's improvoice. Our first game is a lovely game imported from Whose Line Is It Anyway, called Pop Culture Dating Game. Now what's going to happen is one of us is going to be the lucky lady who gets to select one of these three stunts right here to be there forever. But there is one twist. All of us are very, very different things from what is considered normal. So, who is our lucky lady tonight? Raise your hand. That's right. <laughs> no, it's me. <laughs> I will be conducting this. So, are you ready? We are ready. Yes. Oh, more enthusiasm, you old farts. Are you ready? We are ready! Woo! Okay, boomer. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bachelor number one. I like long walks on the beach. 
if you were to take me somewhere romantic, where would it be? Uh, probably be like, man, it'd probably be back to my place uh, where we'd have a couple of bowls of ramen. Oh. Uh -huh. You know, and uh, may maybe watch something on Netflix. Look, I, I just don't have a lot of money right now, you know, and I, I'm really struggling out there, you know. But yeah. one of these days, man, that's going to change. I'm going to. I'm going to book that one sweet gig, and it's it's all going to change. But. Well, I certainly hope that's not a lie. Bachelor number two, I like chocolate. What do you like to eat that's sweet and a treat? Well, I love to spend long nights in a cave. Oh, and what do we eat in this cave? Hmm? Well, while we're, while we're hiding... <laughs> From things, um, perhaps, well, whatever you have, we'll share. <laughs> Kinky. <laughs> I like it. Bachelor number three. When I am alone at night with, uh, with a glass of Merlot and I'm searching for something on the TV, nothing I like more than a good old sitcom. What is your favorite kind of show, Bachelor three? <laughs> oh? Oh, <laughs> hello. Yes, hello. You're on a you're on a game show. Oh, oh, hi. Um, well, look, you're making the baby cry. Get on with uh, it. I had 17 of them myself, but I like a good crossword now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. My favorite show is at 17. I like a crossword as well. Bachelor number one, back to you. Yeah. What is your favorite quality in a woman? Uh, my favorite quality in a woman is uh, so, uh, one who can listen, you know, because I, I just recently booked this great part, uh, and, and there's this girl, and, and she's she's playing the lead with me, and, and really is a great wait, connection. Wait, wait, you know, there's another having girl? Lot, having a lot of back and who's forth the, Hold on, on, who's this other girl? Uh, I mean, she's just somebody I work with, you know. Are you but, sure? But, uh, look, I'm really hoping to, to work a, a lot more, you know. I mean, it's, a, it's got a great, great director, and, you know, well, I mean, you things are looking up. Well, you can work with her all you like, Bachelor number one, because you're not winning anymore. Bachelor number two. Bachelor number one screwed up big. If somebody hurt me, like my ears from the baby, what would you do to them to get revenge for your sweetheart? Well, first, I would go to the store and buy lots and lots of cotton. Cotton? For your ears. Ah. And then... I would probably build a giant uh, force field. Force well, field? Well, of course. With all of my love. <laughs> We're upgrading in technology pretty quick from cotton to force field there. I'm magical. Okay. Magically delicious, I hope. <laughs> Anyhow, bachelor number three. Are you awake with us right now? In 1942, I wandered into a field to buy some corn. <laughs> you have such a way with words, Bachelor Number Three. <laughs> I'm practically got the vapors over here. Oh, I got the vapors, all right. Right. I One mean, she's really a great character. It's really a great character study. I really want to study this person so I can, you know, uh, really work on the, the part that I'm playing Bachelor right now. Bachelor number one, I think you have um, an affinity for acting, perhaps? I, I do. Could you, be, could you be an actor, Bachelor number one? Uh, I could be in the, in, the many, in the many stages of acting. <laughs> I guess of being what? an actor. That's, an, that's applause. True, yes. <laughs> we got one. Bachelor number two, you're creepy. Um, so you like cotton, force fields, and hiding in caves. Are you a mad scientist? No. <laughs> Can you give me a hint? Well, I love you. And you love me. Oh, right. 
You're Barney. You're Barney the dinosaur. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and bachelor number three. How did you three. miss that one? How could I? <laughs> yeah, no, there's no oh. earthly way I could have missed that. Yes, bachelor oh. number three. Are you a deaf person? Hello, I'm just really horny. Oh. <laughs> are you um are you a buffalo? What? Buffaloes have horns. What? <laughs> Could you give me a hint, bachelor number three? Well, I was born in 1902. Hmm. And are you an old lady? I could be. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got him. Round of applause for our uh, bachelors. I don't think I'm picking any of them. Can't see myself having a happy life with, uh, oh, you know, I, I like Barney as a friend, you know? Anyhow, where'd my phone go? <laughs> All right. You ready for the next game? Did you like that one? Okay. For the next game, uh, this is a lovely one. It's a head-to-head -head game we call Questions Only. Now, I would like a suggestion from the audience. Um, think of a place that might be crowded uh, with people, that might be, um, you know, a lot of things happening at the same time. I said hands. Did I say hands? Okay, sorry, hands up. Um, Froppy. Okay, I think we have to go with the obvious one here. All right, so, <laughs> yes? Yeah, fine, <laughs> absolutely. So we are all at GalaxyCon. Now, the point of this game, Ricky and, si uh, Ricky and Josh are going to go on that side, and Chris and I are going to go on this side. Now, we will be conducting multiple scenes in this place, but we can only talk in questions. If we hesitate, we're out. If we say a sentence, an exclamation, we're out, and you have to call us out on it, okay? So listen carefully. Let's begin. Ricky and Josh. No, Ricky and Chris. <laughs> out. Did you see that guy dressed like Darth Vader? Is this the Doctor Who baby eating contest? <laughs> Do you like baby food? Do I? <laughs> out, out. <laughs> Do you like baby food? <laughs> uh, do you have my debit card? Isn't that on, it on the floor? Is that from you? Out, out, yeah. Chris, the reigning champion. Isn't that you. your card on the floor? Oh, is that a floor? Do you know, do you understand? <laughs> out, 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 out. Do you know where the uh, where where the uh, screening of My Hero Academia is? Is that an anime? And, yes. <laughs> What's your favorite anime? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite anime? Do I have to tell you? I need to know at least three of them. Damn it. How long did it take you to make that cosplay? Are you going to ask me that all day? Are you going to answer? Are you going to follow me everywhere I go to? Do you like it? <laughs> are, are, you, are you looking at my ass? <laughs> did you see that cosplayer with the sweet ass? Are you Mr. Dragon Balls? Which one? <laughs> Which Dragon Ball character is your favorite? Where is my hero academia? I think it's in Japan. <laughs> Where's my hero academia? Isn't it right over there with that one guy with the green hair? Where do you get your cosplay fixed? Aren't you supposed to make your own cosplay? Why am I here? Do I look like your mother? Where is the Jack Daniels? Isn't that an empty bottle? Did you leave an empty bottle of Jack Daniels right there without sharing it with me? Don't I look drunk? <laughs> Do you want me to answer that? Don't I? 
<laughs> Do you want me to be honest? I'm drunk. <laughs> All right, that's it. Very good job. Very good job. Next is a game we like to call sound effects. And for this, we will need two willing participants from the audience. Hmm. We will take dad in the front row and you. Come on up. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, yeah, you can go through the, or you can climb. Yeah. I got like a rock climber or something. What's man. your yeah. names, my friends? Ryan. And? Anya. Anya. Ryan and Anya. So, Josh and Chris, I keep, I keep thinking he's Josh, are going to perform a scene. We will get the subject in a second. And Ricky and I will be giving our mics to Anya and Ryan. Now you guys will be doing the uh, sound effects for the entire scene. Everything they do, you have to have a sound effect for it. Doesn't matter what it is. Probably the worse it is, the better, because then they'll have, it might trip them up and that'll be really No, don't funny. give them that. You try to be as accurate as possible. Okay, be as accurate as possible. May I use that? So, give me a place and raise your hand. You with the goggles. Rec center. And give me an occupation. Um, you. Baker. So, you are two bakers trying to teach a baking class at the rec center. And go. so much. Dad, that was great. I'd shake your hand, but I have two mics. Yeah. All right. You guys like that one? That's one of my favorites, honestly. Here is yours. Thank you, thank you. All right. Up next, we have one of my favorite games that I will go off stage for a second to get because I forgot it. And in improv, we have to make sure that we're always, you know, ready for anything, ready to improvise, as it were. And, you know, I don't have a hat, <laughs> but I did have this. I did have this from today. If anybody recognizes this, and what's it, that from? Why this is from My Hero Academia. You're part of it as well. I am. <laughs> I'm a block of cement. So, I think we've all seen scenes from a hat, or, but for those who have not, you live under a rock. And also. We will have all of these scene suggestions in this beak here. And we will all come out and give our funny, say, our funny, you know, interpretations of the scene based on the subject. And then we will go out, and when nobody can think of anything anymore, we go eh, and go on to the next one. Sound good? All right. Off to the sides. Jo 
Josh, you <laughs> want to be over here? I'm going to be over here. Yeah. All right. The first suggestion. Things that would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. Uh, you going to eat that baby? <laughs> Is that it? Okay. Yeah. All right. That would definitely yeah, change the atmosphere. Yes, one, it would. Are we doing one at a time? Do one at a time? Or no, yeah. You can do as many of those as we want yeah. until we move on to the next one. So if you had something. You have something? No, it, was at, it had to do with uh. beavers. It's all over. <laughs> all right, next one. It's too late. Heaven, the downside. Is it always bright like this? <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. Oh no. Uh I was told there'd be beer. But uh Oh cool. They're all uh Disney movies. I guess it Disney Plus subscription. Even in heaven. <laughs> Even in heaven. You gonna eat that baby? <laughs> all right, all right, next one. Why the dinosaurs really went extinct. And remember, I <laughs> love you. <laughs> hey man, I got a great idea. Let's take all the triceratops and put them in this volcano. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, we should all stop eating meat. And even the Tyrannosaurs, we should just lay down and go to sleep forever as a suicide pact. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 okay. That's all I got. If Batman were Fat Man. Screw it. <laughs> I'm fat man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very succinct. <laughs> Just be like, let me get to my utility belt here. I'm a second here. Just, oh, crap, man. <laughs> I think my battering went off. <laughs> Robin isn't a bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. You got to end on a groaner. That's yes, that's right. For sure. Six unsuccessful themed restaurants. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Eat That the Baby. <laughs> Party of two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to, G B B G G Beaver Jacks. We got... Rare beaver, raw beaver, raw beaver, rare beaver, raw beaver. With a beaver and a bear. Anyways, he's, uh, you get some wood, and we just build. <laughs> and uh, then we have a little hut. I know you're cold, but it's fine. <laughs> Guys, welcome to my restaurant, 911. And uh, <laughs> it said the worst ones. So. <laughs> okay, I thought of one that's very dark. I'm not going to say it because that was a good one to end on. Thank you. Oh, come on. One more. Hi, welcome to Seals R Us. Here's your club. <laughs> there you go. People you wish would just shut up. People you wish would just shut up. <laughs> Okay. That's it, man. <laughs> Just me. That's fine. That's fine. Don't take it personal. It's comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I said that backstage. <laughs> Resumes that did not impress. 
Well, uh, I have been head bus boy of El Chico's for 12 years. Thank you very much. Woo! Where do I start? <laughs> As you can see on my uh, special skills, I've eaten over 14 babies. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to keep doing those jokes, guys. <laughs> no, I, I know it says T shit. I, I didn't, that's not a typo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one to end on. <laughs> yeah. Tetris gone wrong. Oh no, that's God. not the suggestion. Oh, it's not. Uh, <laughs> people you won't see on a Playboy cover. On what? On a Playboy cover. Oh. Yay! I have all the best tits. I got a ball. I got, I got a great ass. It's beautiful. It's a perfect ass. It's a perfect phone call. All right, Donnie. <laughs> Finally, we got political. I yes. knew it was going to happen. Well, I mean. <laughs> what Ricky Simons is thinking right now. They all think I can't shit like a tea. <laughs> <laughs> Kellen owes me a lot of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Things you can say about anime, but not your girlfriend. <laughs> I love a harem show. <laughs> look, I don't understand it. I just like to look at it. The sub was better. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, we'll do a couple more, then get on to the next game. Original rejected poses for the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Had to do it. <laughs> All right. Last one. Bad Valentine's Day gifts. Bad Valentine's Day? Yeah. Bad Valentine's Day gifts. Baby? <laughs> I saved you the best part of the baby. <laughs> it's the feet. Sorry. <laughs> I got you an elliptical machine. <laughs> oh! Ho, ho. Yeah, yeah okay. we're getting there. We're getting there. Where we like it, baby. <laughs> what a kebab. Here you go. It's my t shit in a box. All right, that's it. That's all for that game. Make some noise. You guys having fun so far? All right, let's keep it going along with a game called Blind Line. Now, my friends, uh, let's say Ricky, Josh, and Chris Ooh. are going to be doing a scene for us, but with one caveat. Oh, another caveat. <laughs> a fine pocket. I'm allergic. He's got to find the right pocket first. Oh, no. You got to mix him up a little. Yeah. On these lines, on these uh, lines of paper, 
Slips of paper. Those are slips of paper. Slips they have of paper. There are different lines. You Thank you. Um, <laughs> there are lines of dialogue that they can call upon at any time. All they have to do is interrupt the scene, walk over, pick one up, and read it. And then they have to make sense of it within the parameters of the scene. All right. Raise your hands. Somebody give me a restaurant. Um, let's go for someone in the back. You, you with the red sweatshirt and the yellow shirt, yeah. TGI Fridays. Okay, so. I think you said TGI Spideys. TGI Spideys? <laughs> We're doing TGI Friday. All right, cool. Okay, so these two are a lovely couple out for a date, and you are their server. Okay, sweet. And begin. We'll set the scene first. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Table's here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Honey, uh, what I, you, you thought about what you want to drink? I want an, a Bloomin' Onion. A bloom, okay. Yeah, let's, let's, let's start, start with a Bloomin' start Onion drinks first. and a margarita. Me, sir, sir, you Tell a margarita. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Hi, uh, my, uh, my date here would love to start. Chips and salsa and margaritas. Chips and salsa and some margaritas. Mm, mm, I'm hungry, too. Mom, I don't want to go to school today. <laughs> well, I am not your mom, but if I was, I'd tell you you have to go to school. All right? But, you know, uh, you kind of look like her when, uh, with your teeth all missing like that. <laughs> and, I, and, and you're... Hey, I prefer her that way. <laughs> but, you know... Are you sure you're not my mom? Because I, I was thinking I, that uh, you look like you've had a lot of kids, like 18, 20, 30, 40. And I could, hey, look, man, look, man, what? you can't just come up here to my date and start making accusations. Oh, what would you like, sir? <laughs> well, you know what I would like? Yes. I'll tell you what I would like. I would like to move it, move it. <laughs> well, that, I, want a, I want them that chips and salsa and the margaritas. That is the special today, yeah. Yeah, it comes with pig on top of pig. Well, we'll take extra pig. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I thought we weren't going to talk about you being my son while you was working. Well, this, well I got to, you know, keep him going long enough because, you know, uh, you know, I just need you to help me with my bags. Well, I'll <laughs> help you with the bags, but I like the sub better. And where's my margarita? <laughs> Wait, look, I, I, he dropped I, something I, on the floor. I, I didn't realize that we were coming here and uh, that your, your son works here. I, I, well, I didn't realize that this is where you wanted to go. Here's I your margaritas. Oh, hi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got what extra pig in it. What a great <laughs> server. I didn't know. Well, you know, I mean, just that, you know, did, where, where's his daddy at? I mean, didn't he have a father for crying out loud? He's I did. Oh, God. I did, but he said he spilled the milk again. Well, you know what, man? You know, I, I, I'll, I'm i going to do my best to give you advice. You know, my father, he gave me great advice growing up, you know, and it look, you look like a young man who could use a bit of advice, a bit of advice like Disney bought us out. <laughs> You know? And you know what that really means? That really means is that one day... Is that a code? One day we're all going to be cartoons. Right? Right? Is that a code? That is a code. <laughs> guys, guys, there she blows. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> and scene! <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Leave them where they are. Yeah. All right. Oh. Now, for our next game... This will involve a lot of our audience participation because we have here today three experts on everything. That's right. Any question you have, they will have an answer. Yes, but there is another caveat to this because without caveats, where would we be in improv? Now, you know this game better than I. You suggested it. Please. These two gentlemen here, ladies and gentlemen, are the most far most experts on any subject or topic or question you could possibly think of, right? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to ask them any question or ask them to discuss any topic right here, and they will tell you everything they need to know. In between, though, I will clap my hands mid-word, mid-thought, mid-sentence, and the next expert will begin to speak. Then I will clap my hands mid-word, mid-thought, mid-sentence again. I will clap my hands back and forth until they, uh, and, and they have to switch each time. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. I'm so. playing two. Why not? <laughs> it's a triple expert. So, ladies and gentlemen, I need, by a raise of hands, a subject or topic or question you want to ask uh, the experts. Uh, you, military, right here. Do the birds work for the bourgeoisie? Do the birds work for the bourgeoisie? Only the starling. Seventeen seventy six, a young man from Mesopotamia traveled to the islands off of and he found the great winged lizard. And he thought, hmm, this must be a bird because birds tend to cut Then the bird picked up a beaver and dropped it on the lizard. Oh. Uh. <laughs> you have to keep going. Right. I was waiting for my cue. <laughs> That's not the point of the show. The lizard stayed playing dead so that the bird would not carry him off to his foreign lair. Until all... And hey. that's why we have mashed potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Okay. You need to know about the birds. Yes. So. All right. How about you? What, what's your question? Yes. Explain what? Peristalsis. Of course. <laughs> Explain peristalsis. Peristalsis is when you have a big old butt and you use it to clap really hard and really fast. You can go deaf from having this butt. Inside the butt, if you go really, like, look really hard, you gotta just... I don't know where this conversation has led, but... And, you know, if the butt talks... Back to you. Well, hey, now... You just go and say, hey, butt. I want that car. <laughs> and then the... The butt will be like, okay, let's go buy a car. And now you got, like, a friend. And that's peristalsis. Duh. You want to go ahead? All right. All right, now you ask Ricky. Ricky. All right. Hi. All right. Uh, let's have blue hair. Yes, hi. What do you want? What? That's not the question. Okay, okay. That's, a, that's a, not an expert question. I mean, an expert question. Yes, hello. Saddest Disney movie. All right. What is the saddest Disney movie? The saddest Disney movie known to man was written in 1948 by the late great Howard Cosell. <laughs> Many people didn't know that Howard Cosell was a Disney writer. But he was. <laughs> hey, Mama, give me some sugar is what he said to his other writer. And this is how he inspired the scariest movie Disney ever made, which is, of course, Foxy Mama's Revenge to Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Next Friday. Yay! <laughs> right? Electric Boogaloo. Okay, give us our last question. Let's see here. Uh, uh, is this the, the one that you pulled for us the whole time? Yes. The one. Oh. 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 Okay, ending on a strong note. What is the meaning of life?
We ponder it some more. It's balls. 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 Change. He's gonna die, man. He's gonna die. Change. He might live, but he looks like an actor. <laughs> Here, take my bullet. I'll Change. Here, take my fury. I'll help you. Change. 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 For the sake of the show, change. <laughs> I'm not changing that. Change. Change. Hey, I got a sandwich. <laughs> oh man, I think he's feeling better. He's not. He looks better. Change. He looks less cold. Change. He looks nice. Change. Okay, let's cut to black before that happens. Well done, well done. All right, now, Chris, I heard that you're hosting a party. Did you know that you're going to get three guests? I, I do know that. Yeah? yeah? Because I just told you? Well, no, that's just how the game works. Oh, the game, yes, of course, yes. My game, my yeah. party. Exactly, and these three people are, and these three people are once again very interesting. Before the show, I gave everyone a uh, slip of paper, and these contain suggestions of. No, you don't. You're guessing. Um, these contain suggestions of wacky characters that will come in, and you have to guess who we are. So let's go off stage. 
Everybody get out. <laughs> so when you want to knock on the door, you just say, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, see you later. Yeah. Just talk to you. Head on. Are you? Are you? YouTube, cool. Oh, it, oh voice acting, awesome. It, well, well, I'm I'm here, and I can do a pretty good Kermit. Yeah, yeah hi, hi, I'm Kermit. I'm Kermit. Oh, wait, it's about acting. Oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, um, can we have it one more time? But uh, maybe you know, we we get like three beeps this time. Okay, one, two. What is that? I can't I can't hear the beeps. Where was the fourth beep? Oh, I'm too old for this. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> Thank you. I think you have a guest at this door. <laughs> Come on in, I'll let you in. <laughs> oh, it's Mel Blanc. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, that's right, it turned to Eric Bowser. Close enough. Drunk Elmo. Drunk Elmo. Woo! Yeah. Don't you go in. Don't you. Did you just go? Oh man, yeah. My good friend, who is a multitude of Warner Brothers cartoon characters. That? Yes, that. That got murdered. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was it. Okay. All right. Should I slate? Um, uh, Callan, Goff. Good enough. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. All right, come back on. Our master guesser, everyone. All right. Parting is such sweet sorrow, but we only have one game left. Everybody go, oh. But don't worry. We will be back just in another city. And maybe at this con, if you like this show, Tell the con organizers, then you can have it back every year, maybe. But only if you, the fans, say it be, because they want to hear from you, not us. All right, our last game of the night is called Genre Replay. You know the drill, we'll be doing a scene. However, this scene is a bit shorter. I will be, you know, judging when it ends. The scene, the scene will go on and then when I find a stopping point, they'll start from the beginning again, but in a different genre that you decide. Genre of movie, genre of music, anything. As long as it's not too crass. I'm looking at you, Chris. Not you, him. <laughs> so, I need a suggestion 
of a profession. Who hasn't been picked yet? Would you like to do the honors of picking Kevin? Sure. Hey, uh, yeah. You with the hair. The whip. Yeah. The yeah. You. Sorry. What's that? A retail worker. Yeah, what do you got? Biologist. Biologist, even less exciting. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Absolutely, what? biologist. I like biologist. How about another one? What's yours? A chemist. Okay. Okay, okay, I got it. A, a I got it. professional baby chef? Done. I Done. <laughs> Done. Right. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. So. A group of biologists and chemists are working in the highest university with the highest credits and the highest budget that uh, this earth has to offer when they need the help of a baby cooking expert. <laughs> I'll let one of you decide who the baby cooking expert is going to be because it's funnier that way. <laughs> chemist, biologist, baby cooking expert, whoever. And go. There you go, there you go. Cut off. Okay, now we're going, I hope you remember that because you're going to have to perform it again with what movie genre? Overhaul in the back. I'm not biased, you are. <laughs> What's that? Okay, like an action movie. Tom Cruise, Mark Wahlberg, the like. And sing. And the Oscar goes to. All right, next genre. Um, someone in the back. You with the, uh, in the back with the military cut type thing. Yes, you. You, you, you. With the All my shirt. Broadway musical. Go for it.
All right, let's do one more genre. Oh, hard to pick, hard to pick. Uh, Link in the back. <laughs> You're the experts. Anime. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. We have been your improvisers. Give it up for Ricky Simons, Josh Martin, Chris Rager, and I'm Kellen Goff. You can find us tomorrow in the Exhibitor Hall or on Twitter or Instagram. Thank you.